Hello, in this lecture, we are going to go ahead. We are going to start with something which is known as constraint optimization. So, beta, when I talk about optimization, uh, there are two kind of optimization that you can go ahead and study. One is known as constraint and the other is known as unconstrained optimization. Right? So, optimization can be of two types, constrained and unconstrained. But unconstrained optimization kya hoti hai? Jaisse hum abhi tak class 11, 12th mein padhe the, the one that we were studying till, till our 11th or 12th. Like I will just say, maximize the area maximize your utility, maximize the revenue, maximize the profit, uh, minimize the distance traveled. Take a bit up. So all these optimization theories that you were studying till now, all of those were unconstrained optimization there. In which case, what happened, beta? You were given a function. Wo function one variable bhi ho sakta tha, wo function two variable bhi ho sakta tha. So you were gone ahead and you were given a function like for example let's say better you were told that y is a function of x that's the first thing that you were told so if you were told y is a function of x to kya karte the hum? in that case we would go ahead and say okay dy by dx equated to zero this was called our first order condition and d square y by dx square less than 0 for maxima and greater than 0 for minima. But this was our second order condition. So we were going ahead and we were finding the first and the second order condition for one variable and this was unconstrained, completely unconstrained. There was no constraint given here. And that's the first case that we were doing. Then what, what's the next thing that we went ahead and do? The next thing that we went ahead and do is if it is two variable or multiple variable. Just say for example, let us go ahead and say that you have y, z as a function of x and y. So I will go ahead and write z as a function of x and y. This is also a function, but there is no constraint in it. So again, you can go ahead and you can maximize such a function. So beta, you can maximize with respect to x, you can maximize with respect to y. So del z by del f, uh, del x equal to 0 kar do. Del z by del y equal to 0 kar do. And then just fa formulate the second order conditions also. But this is again unconstrained. There is no constraint in it. Koi constraint nahi lagaya hai. Right? But now just take an example of constrained optimization. So when I talk about constrained op optimization, what do I mean? For example, I go ahead and I say maximize utility subject to the budget, subject to income level. Or I go ahead and say, okay, maximize revenue subject to uh, a given level of cost. Or I tell you maximize production subject to a given level of cost. Or I tell you, minimize cost subject to a given level of output. So all these examples that we do now, all these examples, they are all constrained optimization. So constrained optimization ka example kya hoja beta? When you want to minimize cost subject to producing a given level of output. Right? Or you, when you want to maximize output, subject to a given level of cost. So all these examples that I'm giving you, these become constrained optimization. Koi constrained hai. Ki haan, mujhe cost ko to minimize karna hai, but mujhe itna output bhi produce karna hai. Mujhe output ko to maximize karna hai, but mujhe itni cost ke andar is kaam ko pura karna hai. Mujhe utility ko to maximize karna hai, but mujhe ek income level ke andar andar hai kar hi karna hai. So all these are examples of 
constrained optimization. So where you go ahead and you put up a constraint. Clear over part beta. So in constrained optimization, now you have an objective function. This is called objective function. And you have some constraint. This is called as constraint. Right, beta? Okay. Now, just take some examples that I have written here. So I am maximizing the utility subject to my income level. So, so these are different commodities. X1, X2 till Xn. These are your different goods. Ha, beta? So I am consuming X1 units of good 1, X2 units of good 2, X3 units of good, good 3 and so on. These are my different goods. I get some utility from that. But this is my expenditure on good 1. Expenditure on good 2. Expenditure on good N. Yes, son. So these are my different expenditures that I have. So, bache, these are my total, if I just go ahead and I do it, you will notice that this is my total expenditure. And it is equal to income of the consumer. So, I want to go ahead and I want to maximize utility. Utility go to maximum karna hai. But it is subject to a constraint that I cannot spend more than my income. Main apni income se zyada paisa nahi kar Same beta, I want to maximize the output that I produce. But this is the cost I am incurring on different inputs. It, is, it has to be within a cost. Hai na? So I want to minimize the cost. But it should be subject to a given level of the output. So ye jitne bhi examples. Hai, these are all examples of constrained optimization. But under this, you have method number one. Now, what is method one? Kya bolta hai? Bohat easy. This method says that you want to maximize utility. Aapko ye utility ko maximize karna hai. Ye utility x1 into x2. Hai. There is a constraint that you have. Kya constraint hai, beta? That p1 x1 plus p2 x2 should be equal to my income. Jitna kharcha mein good one pe kar rahi hu, Plus, jitna mein good 2 pe kar rahi hu, it should be equal to the income of the consumer. So, beta, method 1 ye bolta hai that you should convert constrained optimization problem to unconstrained problem. Maane, is constrained me se write one variable in terms of another. Write one variable in terms of another matlab matlab yahan se beta maine x2 ki value nikal li so what will be my x2 i can take p1 x1 on the other side so beta i will get x2 as what kya mil jayega mujhe ye x2 income minus p1 x1 by p m minus p1 x1 by p2 this will be the value of x2 ye mera x2 ho jayega clear ho ye baat everyone is clear with it so what have I done in this case, beta? I am trying to go ahead and I am trying to find the value of x2. x2 will be m minus p1 x1 by p2. Yahan se meinne, is constraint se meinne x2 ka value nikal. Now I will just put this x2 in my optimization function. So instead of this x2, I will just plug this x2 that I got from my constraint. So, when I plugged x2 here, plug in kar diya, when I plugged in the value of x2 here, what will I get? x1 will be as it is. And x2 ki pe I will get this m minus p1 x1 by p2. x2 ki pe I will get m minus p1 x1 by p2. So, if I just open this up, if I just multiply this here, so this will be m x1. And better, this will be minus p1 into x1 square by p2. So kya hua now? What happened really? What happened here is I had utility as a function of x1 and x2. Now my utility is only a function of only function of x1. x2 chala gaya. It's only a function of x1. And better ye I have considered the constraint. Why? Because many x2 ki value constraint se to nikali hai. So the constraint is also considered. So now what happens in this case, you get 
एम एक्स वन माइनस पी वन एक्स वन स्क्वेयर बाय पी टू ये आ गया नाउ योर यूटिलिटी इज जस्ट अ सिंगल वेरिएबल फंक्शन सो हाउ डू वी मैक्सिमाइज यूटिलिटी डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वन एंड इक्वेटेड टू जीरो तो बेटा इफ आई डिफरेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वन वॉट विल आई गेट डिफरेंसिएशन ऑफ एम एक्स वन विल बी एम डिफरेंसिएशन ऑफ पी वन एक्स वन स्क्वेयर विल बी टू पी वन एक्स वन बाय पी टू एंड जस्ट इक्वेट दिस टू जीरो सो वेन यू विल इक्वेट दिस टू जीरो बेटा क्या हो जाएगा वॉट विल हैपन हियर वेरी सिंपल यू विल गो अड एंड यू विल गेट पी टू तो जीरो हो जाएगा सो एम माइनस टू पी वन एक्स वन विल बी जीरो सो एम इज इक्वल टू टू पी वन एक्स वन सो बेटा एक्स वन विल बी एम बाय टू पी वन क्लियर हो गई ये बात एकदम सो एक्स वन विल बी एम बाय टू पी वन सो बेटा नाउ आई हैव टू रिफाइंड एक्स टू सो इफ यू रिमेंबर फ्रॉम द कंस्ट्रेंट वी हैड ऑलरेडी फाउंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू एंड कंस्ट्रेंट से एक्स टू वॉज वॉट दिस ना एम माइनस पी वन एक्स वन बाय पी टू सो आई नो दैट फ्रॉम कंस्ट्रेंट x2 was m minus p1 x1 by p2. तो तो बेटा x1 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 star तो मैंने निकाल लिए. That x1 which maximizes my utility. That I have found out. I can just put this x1 here. So बेटा instead of x1 I can write this m by 2 p1 and I will see that p1 and p1 will cancel out. so what will i get m minus m by 2 by p2 so beta 2m minus m by 2 p2 so beta m by 2 p2 to kya answer aa jayega what will i get i will get the answer as m by 2 p2 clear ho gayi ye baat ekdam so this is going to be the first part where what are you doing kya kiya humne humne constraint se from the constraint we are going ahead and we are finding the value of x2 in form of x1 and we are putting this in the objective function so now my objective function becomes a single variable function and i am just solving that usually jaise hum hamesha se karte the बट बेटा दिस इज वेरी ट्रिकी ये बात सही ये सही नहीं है मेथड वाई बिकॉज इफ देर आर मेनी वेरिएबल्स ना तो ये बहुत ही कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो जाता है इट बिकम्स वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो वॉट वी शुड बी डूइंग इज वी विल इंट्रोड्यूस समथिंग विच इज नोन एज द मेथड ऑफ लिग्रांच 